Hey, what is up guys? So I've pretty much finalized my longboard design in CAD, so I thought I'd make another video on my progress on my foldable electric longboard. So I figured out how to close the giant hole in the middle using panels that fold. And when the longboard folds into its smallest form, the panels are flat and resting against the top of the board. Now as you can see, the panel is made of three sections, and the sections are held together with hinges. So when I fold the board together, you can tell the panel folds in on itself, which means the panels will be flat and therefore in its smallest size factor when the board is folded. There's also slots on the bottom of the panels, and I have copper braided wire to route power, and the wire will rest inside of these cavities, and this makes sure that the panel is flat on the bottom. It also looks much better than just having loose wires that aren't secured to anything. So, I know that I want the board to be made of carbon fiber, but I still have to figure out how to make the board itself using just foam. So thankfully, I have access to a laser cutter at my old high school that I can use, but I can only really use it for cutting the outline of the board. But I have other ideas of how I can use it in a more effective way, but more on that in a bit. Now, for the most part, I basically only have a 3D printer to convert things in my CAD design software to reality. So I'm using my cheap $99 3D printer that I bought on Black Friday as a way of doing this. Uh, this way the final board is as accurate as it can be. So the first thing I did was 3D print a 1 to 1 scale model of the board. And I did this uh, by printing it in three sections. And then I glued them together with hot glue. Now using this part, I can always reference back to it and compare the final part that I'm making to the 3D printed model. Just so that I can make sure that the final part matches up with my CAD design. I also 3D printed a clamp for the rods out of ABS plastic and used bicycle seat parts that I bought from Amazon together with what I 3D printed. Now this clamp will act as the securing mechanism to make sure that the whole board doesn't suddenly collapse together while riding it. And as you can tell it's incredibly strong when it's clamped down and when I open it it's very easy to slide through the clamp. So the second challenge has to do with the board itself and that is making the holes in the board for the rods to slide into. To do this, I basically made a part that lines up with the hole in the model so that I can slide a rod through the hole while also making sure that the hole is straight. Now the rod that I would be sliding through this thing would have a very hot tip so that it could melt through the foam while I guide it using this part right here. So now I've taken the part, I've placed it in Cura, which is my 3D printing slicer software, and then I 3D printed it from there. After the print was finished, I made a rod that would slide through the part so that it would be in the right spot but also to make sure that the rod would continue straight through the board. It wouldn't skew left or right. Now the rod is made of an old arrow shaft and a piece of steel that is the correct diameter that matches my CAD design. Uh, so once everything was made, I heated the metal tip of the rod with the propane torch, and then I started to punch the rod through the board. So as you can see, I lined the 3D printed part up with the foam, and continued to push the rod through the, and, and melt the foam to make a hole. Now when all was said and done, this method did not really work too well as I was hoping for um, because the problem is the rod has to be very hot in order to melt the foam but the issue is that the heat ends up melting too much away and messes up the entire board as you can see. Now with that said, I have a better idea of how to make this board in the easiest way possible. So basically my new idea involves cutting cross sections of the board and then cutting these pieces out using the laser cutter. Then I can also cut pieces of wood out with the laser cutter and mix those pieces of wood with the foam, uh, which will make the whole board much more secure. Uh, in the end, once I cut out everything, the board's going to have very rough edges because the laser cutter cuts uh, perpendicularly, uh, but I'll end up sanding them down so that it's smooth like the model uh, in my CAD software. So hopefully all of that made sense. I will start with this new idea and then I'll let you guys know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.